As many of you know, we just returned from New Jersey, and the highlight of the trip was the Seder night and our children having the opportunity to have a Seder with their great-grandparents and ask the four questions to a room with four generations of Jews. And I was thinking about the fact that this same scene has replayed itself time and time again for thousands of years since the Exodus itself. But is our Seder really the same? Has the tradition really been passed down without change? I mean, we don't have a Paschal lamb today. And many parts of our Seder, from drinking the four cups of wine to dipping a vegetable in salt water, these were added later in history. You won't find any mention of them in the Chumash, in the Bible itself. So what determined that they become a mandatory part of our Seder until today? I work for an online Ask the Rabbi service. And so many questions we get have to do with the nature of the oral tradition. Who were the sages and what gave them the ability to interpret the laws of the Torah? You look at mitzvahs like Shabbos or Kosher, which seem relatively simple in the actual verses of the Chumash, and yet they become so complex in the Talmud. Jewish life today has so many nuanced laws in these mitzvahs. How do we know that it is important to follow the Torah as it's outlined in the code of Jewish law? And how do we know that this version of Judaism is correct, that the tradition was passed down in an authentic way? It is for this reason that I'm so excited about the upcoming course from JLI, Judaism Decoded. If you ever wanted to really understand the oral tradition and the evolution of Torah from Sinai until today, this course is for you. It's a course that's packed with valuable information that will be helpful in so many different areas of Jewish learning. By taking the course, you will gain a sophisticated understanding of the oral tradition, of the nature of the debates in the Talmud, and the way that halacha continues to be determined and decided. You will also gain the confidence and the tools to be able to articulate this position to others and to defend traditional Judaism. I very much look forward to seeing you at the first lesson, May 6th, at the Morrisville Chamber of Commerce.